<laughs> I'm cool, Ben. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. I'm back again, this time with a review of the Marvel Legends Ultimate Peter Parker Spider-Man. I know, I'm a bit late to the party. Uh, what you just saw was me being cruel. You know, the whole Uncle Ben thing. Um, first of all, this figure, I wasn't gonna get it at first because he's quite short. And I really like the uh, Pizza Spider-Man body mold, it's perfect. But, uh, this guy really grew on me. And that's especially thanks to the alternate head, which is the unmasked Peter Parker head. I mean, look at that smile. It makes you want to smile. That's such a nice sculpt work. Not much paint, but it doesn't need to have a lot of paint. I don't know if the camera's picking it up properly. Before I swap him out, let's look at the other accessories he has, which are extra hands. Um, right now on him are his jazz hands, well actually his uh, wall crawling hands, as you can see. He also has fist hands for when he's with Deadpool to, uh, you know, punch bad guys in the face. And his uh, metal concert hands, that just web twipping hands. The head that comes on him is, of course, his masked head. Which looks pretty nice. Bit of a white paint splash on there. Anyway, they swap out really easy. Ooh. There you go, hands as well. Get on, get the fist in there. That's what Deadpool said. Take this out of the way. Uh, Paint-wise, he's really nice. I really like the matte blue on him. Much better than the shiny indigo-ish blue. Uh, mine does have a bit of a uh, scratch on the back logo, but that's because my shelf with uh, collectibles likes to fall down. You know, one figure falls, takes all of them with him. And uh, there's a little scratch here as a result of that. As for the articulation, his head moves this far down. This far up. You can turn him around. Mm, doesn't really have much pivoting. His arms go pretty far up, they rotate. He doesn't have the uh, butterfly joint, but his arms do move a little bit more inward than, let's say, the standard bucky cap figures. He's got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist rotation and a swivel. Really good app crunch. This far forward, this far back, waist rotation. His legs go this far, this far forward. Eh, all right, back, but human anatomy wise, I don't think many people can go much back with their legs. I mean, I can't. Tie rotation, double join the knees, a boot rotation, feet go up, down, and he has an ankle pivot. All in all, I really love this figure and, uh, and I'm glad I bought him. He might not be my go-to, um, well, no pun intended, ultimate Spider-Man, <laughs> but he is a pretty close second. And for size comparison, here he is next to a knockoff pizza Spidey. 
Got this one on eBay from a seller named Yaka or something, but um, he's an awful seller. This figure is flimsy as hell. Uh, paint mishaps, warped pegs, uh, sharp plastic that was cutting me. And the seller wouldn't refund me or anything. He just tried to say I was lying and still tried to blackmail me into giving him a five-star review. Well, needless to say, he got a bad review. But that aside, let's continue with the comparisons. Here's the original Pizza Spidey I have, but I customized him. Painted him a little bit darker. And gave him a unmasked Peter Parker head. Then we also have a work in progress uh, Deadpool figure, but he's on the Bucky Cap mold, so you can see how he scales up to that. And another custom Deadpool, also on a similar mold. Well, it wasn't Doctor Strange body, but it's the same as the Bucky Cap. So, uh, yeah. He fits in really nice with all the rest. If you want to do a spider reverse kind of thing. Let's get these guys out of the way. <laughs> okay, maybe that was a little bit creepy. Um, I highly recommend this figure. Uh, if you can get him, go get him. He looks so much better in person than he does on pictures or on video. He is absolutely amazing. Um, too bad I didn't bring along Spider Gwen. They are about the uh, same height, actually. You know what? I'm gonna go get her. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna cut out the stuff. There we go. Come on, stand up. And here he is next to Spider-Gwen. I think they fit really well together. Even height-wise, she's a tiny bit taller, but when you pose them, it's not really gonna be that noticeable. Anyway, that's it for this review. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe, and the more likes and subscribers, the more videos I'm gonna make. So thanks for watching and see you later.